Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programmes offrent plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Acara kami menyediakan banyak bahasa. Silakan lihat suprememastertv.com garis miring schedule. Supreme Master Ching Hai thankfully present Rakesh Shuka and the voice of Stray Dogs, the Shining World Compassion Award, plus a humble supporting token of $10,000 US dollars for medical help to some special need dog residents in your loving care. May heavens bless you and all involved with all the best. Salute you all in divine love. Rakesh Shukla, the voice of Stray Dogs. Please continue watching to find out how an Indian software engineer found meaning in life by taking care of homeless dog people. Vegan, show them. Yes, you can. Hola means hello in Portuguese, the official language of Sao Tome and Principe. Lively viewers, my name is Jair and I'm happy to be your host today. The serene people of these African islands pray that the providence will bring joy to your mind and solace to your soul. Welcome to our show about Rakesh Shukla, the voice of stray dogs. In Karnataka, India, Bengaluru is known as the country's information technology capital. It was there that a software engineer named Rakesh Shukla who founded a technical communication company in 2005 called the Reuters Block or TWB. It provides ad source product, learning, and marketing content for Fortune 500 majors in various industries across the globe. The success of his business enabled him to travel, buy expensive cars and watches, and live a life of luxury. Yet, something was missing. He was unhappy that his life lacked meaning. Then, in 2009, Mr. Shukla rescued an adorable golden retriever infant named Kavia. At first, she was very timid and hid in a corner. Her new human friend got down on the floor to dispel her fears and lovingly repeated her name. In a moment of intuitive awareness, Mr. Shukla saw that Kevia yearned to trust him, although she was afraid. The realization caused a tingling sensation and warm glow to wash over him. All at once, he had a new sense of purpose. In a blog post about the incident, Mr. Shukla revealed that he used to talk to God before Kavia's arrival. They conversed as friends for many years until one day, Mr. Shukla told God he wanted more love. God said, okay, you can have all of it. You can be my son if you can be their father. And God pointed to the puppy person lying in the corner. Mr. Shukla knew that Kavia had arrived to transform his life and said from then on, I could never stop, nor forget that I do God's work and that they are my children. Mr. Shukla began truly living these words. He met a second dog person in it three months later and named her Kali. She had been living outdoors and was soaked from constant rain when her savior brought her to his home. It became Mr. Shukla's habit to take responsibility for any unfortunate dog person he found on the streets. When his house could not accommodate anymore, he converted the top floor of his office building into their quarters. By 2012, 
Mr. Shukla needed even more space, so he bought some land in a town called Dodabalapura, just beyond Bengaluru. He planted trees and set up over 50 enclosures on almost one and a half hectares, giving his grateful kids plenty of room to run around plus ponds to swim in. He constructed a double fence to ensure their safety and hired a team of attendants to look after them, preparing food and providing medical attention. The following year, Mr. Shukla readjusted the voice of stray dogs or VOSD as a charitable trust for dog people who have no caregiver and no hope. He once commented that his sanctuary is the last stop for these precious beings. They are no longer cute and cuddly. Many are sick and no longer wanted. But at VOSD, one of the world's largest no-kill sanctuaries for dog people, they each have a name, personalized treatment, and a forever home. During its first few years, VOSD raised the bar for conducting emergency dog people rescues in India. It prohibited the use of nets or lassos to capture distressed beings. Instead, they were controlled manually or with towels and blankets. The charity had ambulances for responding to calls within Bengaluru. Otherwise, it transported desperate dog people by train or plane from over 30 cities across the country. Its hospital performed surgeries, fashioned artificial limbs, and provided life support in cases of organ failure, all for free. Mr. Shukla event developed management software for tracking the progress of each canine patient. The sophisticated system records GPS data, photos, health diagnostics, and prescriptions for medicine. Anyone who reports a suffering dog person to VOSD may receive updates on their condition via email, SMS, or the VOSD mobile app. Vegan leader, rare and assorted leader. We will pause for a few moments to say a prayer of gratitude for heaven's guidance and protection. When we return, we'll learn about the immense challenge Mr. Shukla had to overcome. So please stay with us here on Suprema Star Television. Welcome back to our program, Rakesh Shukla, the voice of stray dogs on Suprema Star Television. Unfortunately, some dishonest organizations that had won contracts from municipal corporations for dog people sterilization programs started to lose money. They saw VOSD as a treat to the business and contrived to shut it down. They arranged for a woman to accuse Mr. Shukla of an offense he did not commit and had him arrested. The false charge led to a front-page newspaper article in Bengaluru that blackened Mr. Shukla's name. He wound up losing all his friends, TWB clients and employees. His accuser notified him that she would withdraw her complaint if he closed VOSD. He replied that he could not do that. He was released on bail and fought for several months to prove his innocence. In the end, the case was dismissed. Although he was financially ruined and had massive debts, Mr. Shukla saved VOSD and had hundreds of dog people still living with him. He learned valuable lessons from his furry friends during that very dark time. The true and deep love gave him the photo shoot he needed to rebuild his life. They reminded him to remain calm under pressure, 
to hunker down until the storm blew over. He learned to tolerate pain and not indulge in self-pity. He sold all his cars, houses, jewelry, everything. Because of his canine kid's absolute trust in him, Mr. Shukla was inspired to find people he could trust. He started working again, re-established TWB, and paid off all his creditors in three years. VOST received glowing major coverage for its community services and admitted 350 more permanent residents. Mr. Shukla and VOSD also started caring for retired Indian Army K-9 soldiers. When the land-based branch of the armed forces revealed that it routinely euthanized dog people whose age made them unfit for continued service, public outrage prompted Army headquarters in Delhi to review the policy. It halted the killings and said it would seek rehabilitation for retired four-legged troops. However, Mr. Shukla found out that the army was confining them to their kennels and focusing instead on training new recruits. So, he welcomed those furry public servants who were retired from the army and various police departments. VOSD gives them a dignified retirement with attentive medical care in a loving environment. One of the creative ways Mr. Shukla achieved his comeback was by offering to teach others the lessons he learned about resilience and self-confidence. Through a framework called Stronger with Rakesh Shukla, he shares techniques for people to achieve their goals. There are workshops for overcoming addictions, recovering from heartbreak, attaining physical fitness, and becoming mentally tough. People are pleased with the stepwise format and noticeable results. Perhaps most importantly, Mr. Shukla advises attendees that success does not always mean making money and buying expensive things. He says, if you get up in the morning and you can feel the day doing the thing that you love, that is being successful. Another fundraising project is called Art for Dogs. Mr. Shukla asked some of India's best visual artists to donate their paintings and prints of people from various animal kingdoms to VOSD. Patrons of the sanctuary can choose the artwork they want to receive as a thank you gift. Mr. Shukla also created a line of pet care products based on formulations used at VOSD. These are available through a virtual store where people can also buy dog people themed merchandise such as coffee mugs, t-shirts and calendars. VOSD Sanctuary and Hospital began an expansion campaign in January 2020 to create 28 new enclosures, corridors for free movement, a idotherapy pole and an agility park. These improvements boosted the facility's capacity from 900 to about 1,400 lucky canine residents. Mr. Shukla also installed a rainwater harvesting system and planted 300 more trees. In many ways and against incredible odds, Rakesh Shukla and VOSD have revolutionized the approach to caring for dog people. Let us close with a telling quote by the man who asked God for more love after recording a short documentary about VOSD, from how his mission with dog people began to what it is like living with 800 of them. Mr. Shukla summarized his perspective on it all as follows. It's a crazy life, but no regrets. I mean, ultimately, I do it because somebody has to do this and I've been given the privilege to do it. Supreme Master Ching Hai thankfully present Rakesh Shukla and the voice of Stray Dogs, the Shining World Compassion Award, plus a humble supporting token of ten thousand US dollars for medical help to some special need dog residents in your loving care. May heavens bless you and all involved with all the best. Salute you all in divine love. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the most merciful, beloved God for all the financial help, comfort and support to the afflicted and needy 
and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for hearers, compassion and love toward hearers' precious children. For more information about Raquel Shukla and the Voice of Stray Dogs, please visit vosd.in. I am better than you if you are not vegan. In terms of my ethical decisions, I am so much better than you. I am better for the planet. I am better for the animals. Romesh Ranganathan, vegan. Purposeful viewers, it has been delightful sharing this heartwarming information with you. Thank you for joining us. Next is there are no excuses for invading a country. Part eight of eight on between master and disciples. Right after noteworthy news. May you always be in touch with heaven's gracious guidance. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com/schedule and suprememastertv.com/gpgw.